Welcome to now about the James Bill. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Well, it's final day. It's the afternoon, and I've got to hot foot it up to the uh, boat yard. I've got some work to crack on with. And obviously, I need to finish well in time for the football tonight. So let's get cracking. Okay, so for the benefit of James's overseas followers, this is the song for the England football team. I'm recording this before tomorrow night's final, so I don't know yet whether we'll be celebrating or commiserating. But either way, as someone I know says, let's crack on. Well, as you can see, the uh, first plate has now been kind of welded in place. It's not a full seam yet, and obviously it needs to be trimmed, um, but it's been tacked in place kind of eight times on each side. And you can see what Richard's done is he's um, cut a seam kind of down to about there to take on the most 
acute part of the angle. And he's kind of overlapped the plates. Don't know how he's done that. Maybe John's recorded some of it, I don't know. Um, but that looks great. And obviously there's some bits to fill in around there, which uh, no doubt he'll do. And then this will create the sacrificial chine. So obviously some of that will be cut off. So it just sticks out a little bit. At the moment it's a bit bendy and wavy and stuff, but obviously when it's trimmed to about an inch or two, then it won't be at all. And then obviously from there, Richard will be able to go in with a decent weld in that, along that seam there. This side's slightly neater because this one already had a very small sacrificial chine on it anyway. So it's kind of easier. It looks like a better fit along this side here. This is a beer that Carol got for me, obviously. Um, this is a beer that the uh, that Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip used to drink. Um, it's called Cent Centenary Ale. And Carol informs me that he was quite partial to this and it's a very nice drink actually. I thought it'd be quite apt for today to uh, have a beer that the Duke used to drink. Um, You've seen the uh, the steel in place, the the, uh, the first section, so that's exciting. Um, I haven't yet caught up with John or Richard to find out, you know, how it went or what the situation is. But uh, yeah, it looks great there. That the way he's kind of cut that seam, that looks brilliant. I was curious as to how they were going to do that um, and whether there would be kind of an extra plate put on top of it. But it looks like he's done it with one plate, so that's excellent. Um, obviously chucked a bit of paint on the walls on the inside um, and well there's nothing else to do today apart from watch the England match really I think uh, John's having a siesta in the Winnebago it's about seven o'clock now and really I need to get this uh, get this video done and uploaded uh, before kickoff so um, I've had a bit of a, uh, a rush to get here it was nice to follow that Rolls Royce on the way up um, and then tomorrow back at work so um, not too sure what the plan is over the next few days but um, I've got that, that pipe and some bits and pieces coming so I really want to um, to make some further progressions inside the boat and obviously now the steel is getting in place um, it's you know kind of feel like a real momentum with the boat now it's really good so uh, I want to kind of continue that momentum on the inside and crack on with some more jobs. The painting's pretty easy, it's, it's got to be done, but it's just kind of easy to do as and when. But the uh, sanitation and uh, hot water and solar are the next kind of major things to get sorted. Um, so uh, yeah, but most of the kit's here now, so it's just a case of uh, getting it all installed and stuff like that. Anyway, big match tonight. Um, but obviously, I, I, I think we're going to win it, but um, don't want that to be famous last words and all. Well, it really is good. Anyway, until tomorrow, look after yourselves. Come on, England. Bye-bye.